Hello there everyone and welcome back to the American Civil War. So last time we had a bit of a problem with the sound being that it the game sound was way too loud and most likely that was because of two reasons. Um, most, most likely it was because I crashed a number of times uh, actually trying to do the battles uh, which I'm still having a problem with. Also, the fact that I thought this, you know, when I'm looking at this, I thought this looks kind of funny. The fact that the the sort of um, this province also contains the end of this area, which I think looks strange. Anyways, um, um, what was that? Yes, the crashing. So I crashed, and then it resets. So, uh, but also the fact that I recorded all those three at the same time and when I listened to the first one since I weren't in battle they sounded fine so I didn't go ahead and change anything um, and yeah that's about it as I recall there were a few questions someone thought that I should make peace with the Confederacy to go after Canada um, which I guess I could but at this point the Indians only have one place in Canada um, but I could easily sweep through that area actually what I should probably do is go ahead and end that rebellion because I could easily crush the British but I'm not entirely sure if that would be necessarily to my advantage because right now we're trading with the British and the question is if we would make the same kind of money holding the territory as we do with the trade we're doing 50 yeah we'll probably actually do we we'll probably actually would benefit from controlling um, the British territory but it could lead to unforeseen problems um, with the other and so lo lo loss of trade and I, I would di have to divert forces to capture the territories so I don't think I will be doing that um, then it was with the United Provinces I really sort of want the Confederates to waste a load of men attacking and taking uh, that and then I would sweep in and uh, take over that place we actually have this, or the cavalry army is now ready. So we're going to have that move out and we're going to move to try to move towards Santa Fe. It's going to take a while. But that's why I built good railroads here. So hopefully, hopefully we'll uh, have qu quick transport through the area. Um, was there any other questions? There were a bit back and forth about the fact that I was playing the, um, the north rather the than the confederate and to be honest at first I had planned on playing the confederates but I thought mm, I've been playing the confederates so much all the time so and and I've been getting all questions uh, on my videos as I played the confederates like why don't you go union why don't you go union so I finally got, went to union and I'm not sure well it's YouTube ever everyone's gonna be bit bitching about something uh, anyways, we've got the battle over here where we're uh, faced with being surrounded by the enemy. So I have to strike out and fight this battle over here. And um, yeah, we'll have to try so. to do this as quickly as possible, hoping that I don't crash. So fingers crossed. Let's hope we don't crash. If I crash too much in this, I might, you know, if I if I can't really fix the problem or if I can't yeah fix the problem in with the crashes because I, I'm not entirely sure I've been messing with the settings but it's kind of annoying trying to make something and uh, recording where when it always crashes and stuff so I'm not entirely sure that I will uh, maybe I'll have to end the campaign just because it's such a hassle um, or um, at least maybe not extended as much as making a confederate version of the campaign um, since it seems quite unstable or if I I'll have to I'm not sure if reinstalling it will help because I well, you know what enough talk let's see if we can defeat 
the southerners here with Esk Withering Witherington. Um, and see if we can't defeat this fellow. Um, and hopefully I'll find a way where I where I can sort of set the gra I think it's something to do with the graphic settings because I've said it before and I was able to play uh, quite long battles but I'm not entirely sure what what actually is the sort of the key setting that you have to, and I don't want to pull everything down so everything looks like crap uh, but I've I've pulled down the um, the settings quite a bit um, so it will probably look a bit different than the last battle uh, main thing though is that we want to finish this quick so we don't get a crash right um, let's m just make sure that the sound settings are actually yeah they should be fine want well, one battery over there the other one will be over there we'll have two forces going at the enemy since we've got sort of we got a hill over here and we got hills over there and confederates probably start in the center so we w sort of want to trap them there so we got one force coming in here and they will be supported by one unit of cavalry um, we'll have two units stationed to support the artillery we'll actually have one on the outer flanks as well so we'll have one guy one line over here to support the cannons and we'll have one over there actually I'll probably put it a bit higher there and then we have this side where we will have these troops actually I have two more here did I oh no those were ah, I brought two of the ones the ones that were stationed over there so there we go and this will be this here my right flank plus cavalry let's go ahead and start this okay the confederates spread out along here uh, we've got a cavalry unit I think we'll start by pushing up this side and then we go over here and we set these guys to march up take up that hill over there should be working fine hoping no crash we're moving up here the confederates seem to be a lot stronger than us or have a lot higher accuracy at least so um, we gotta keep that in mind to sort of use our superior number we're gonna come into contact here so I'm gonna stop this group and we're gonna have the three units in front quickly march up here take a position while the other two continue forwards towards there Uh, we got enemy dragoons moving in the center. We'll quickly switch to canister. And I'll go to slow mo just so I can control this side. Okay, the, the enemy cavalry is moving towards this area. We'll pull this one back. And then we'll have to move back our attack plan by moving here and setting up around this here hill and hopefully these guys can fire over them if the confederates come close enough I know the confederates like to charge or well, they have done so in the past 
We have canister going off straight into the uh, Confederate cavalry. I have had problems with the Confederate cavalry that they do um, do charge straight into my lines and uh, disrupt them quite a bit. So I always want to keep keep an eye on that. We've got the um, the enemy lines are moving very rapidly towards the center of the map. See if we can catch these two guys before they fire. We want to move these guys even further. So like so. And then we have the uh, cavalry unit moving up behind to support these guys. Since we've got cavalry and stuff coming in over there, we'll form along there to protect our flank. Let's go back to uh, normal speed and let's arrange... Ah, there they go. They're charging our men. And our cavalry is coming in to aid. Quite a lot of men are being cut down here by the 20th, 20th Regiment of Foot. The Confederates are steadily advancing towards our main line, but we do have canister coming down towards them, and I bet they will... Uh, they will be forced to flee. We got the main lines firing. We only got a single unit here holding up our advance. Crap, these guys are coming behind us. Holding up our flank attack here. The Confederates going hard towards our center here. Ah, the enemy striking on our back. And we're peppering that general's unit. Surprisingly though, that uh, 300 men firing on them have only sort of killed half the unit. You'd imagine them maybe being a bit, being able, well it is quite, it is quite a distance to fire at. Right, what's going on over here? We got Confederate's unit routing. They have marched up disoriented uh, towards our lines. And they're now paying for it. We've got quite the route going on here. If you can get some better canisters. Sort of. Straight through here. The Confederates are doing a desperate charge. Our forces on the hill are holding. Where did the cavalry unit go? It's over there. It's going straight. For the cannons. Ooh, that's a lot of canister shots. Boom. Let's send in the cavalry to see about mopping up that. The enemy cavalry still persists. The enemy general is about to fall. We've got these units now fanning out on the right. Let's see how it's going over here. Suaves fighting in among the uh, the cavalry there. The Confederates have rallied. Oh crap! They're about to rout my cannons over there. We want to send these guys off. Make sure that they don't come back. Actually, hit this unit while it's disoriented. And uh, let's move these three units up quickly to uh, trap the Confederates. March, boys, march! March for freedom! Let's uh, concentrate the cavalry attack on there to uh, support the artillery. 
Ah, uh, the th Confederates. Ooh, they've got they've got some good attacks on these two units, so they will actually pull back in favor of the men on the hill, which will turn to face that unit over there. And this one will actually move to station itself in the forest. And this one will move up a bit. But these two move back further back on the hill, take up positions. Cavalry done with their attacks. It looks to be a good day for the Union. the Confederates haven't given up yet. Hopefully this doesn't crash when I'm having such a wonderful time sending the enemy off the field. Let's go ahead and charge. Let's get this done with. We have the superiority of manpower now. Sand the charge. Let's get rid of those Confederates up on that hill. March up. You as well. And you will turn then to face those guys out there. And you two form thicker lines and then fix bayonet to charge the hill. The cavalry is doing sort of fine ish. These cannons can no, l no longer fire, switch to round shot. I think the horses are done for, they're not gonna make any more charges. This line needs to come up closer. They actually reverted back to their... Uh, the formation I had set up from the start. And now we got artillery coming in, pounding the Confederates. They won't stand for long. We're pounding that hill. Fix! Bayonets! Push them off the hill. Let's get rid of them. The Confederates are in a route. They're actually moving up and uh, they're gonna take a lot of casualties for that relocation and uh, they won't be able to hold against the uh, superior firepower that's coming down from our line now you can see the line firing over there as well going across Here come the units charging The enemy will not stand against it, and they're falling as they're running. Send the, charge. Send the charge! Tell the men to hold fire for a bit, and fire again. Get firing on the new targets up there. Sort of extreme range there for the line that's just positioned down here being fired upon by the Confederates. They get hit by artillery, we're gonna tell the artillery to hold fire. Since there's a risk now that we're hitting our own. But it was a good hit before um, the line actually impacts with the two units coming in here with the 19th and the 37th Regiment of Foot. But the Confederates will actually stand and hold against such a charge. The longer the battle uh, takes, the long, the more worried I am that the game will crash. Come on, give up then. Give up. You're outnumbered. Oh, 
trap. Another unit comes back. I want you up on the hill. Our two units charging have given up. The Confederates hold. We'll have to send in the cavalry. I think that will. I would think that will do the trick. Damn it! But what about the casualties? I don't care about the casualties. Open up that battery right now. Yes, sir. Fire! Oh crap, that was a direct hit on our own unit. And it routes. Wow. I was firing on the... Wow, that was... We'll have to pull back up on the hill again. We'll drag these two up. I could have moved these guys up as well. But here comes the cavalry. Come on, send them off now before the game crashes. The Confederates ready themselves to make a final stand. They must hold as though the rest of their army is able to. Oh, crap! Blew up more my cavalry. I forgot about the stupid cannons. They need to make a stand to hold. Lest the rest of the retreating troops be cut down by Union cavalry following them. There we go. Heroic victory. So it didn't actually crash. Which uh, I'm quite pleased about. And I'm quite pleased about the battle as well. We only lost um, 1500 men. Although 170 of those were inflicted by ourselves. We gained some nice chevron all over the army. And the battery actually survived. And uh, the risk of being surrounded is no longer that great. And hopefully we'll be able to take uh, Jackson, Mississippi. So let's go ahead and end the turn, shall we? I should have actually kept a closer look at what, ti what time um, it's a small battle. It is in my favor. Let's outdo resolve it. This time it went my way and we won. Although it was quite close. War erupts. Public demand in the north pushes Union General G Chief of Staff Winfield Scott to advance on the south before adequate training his new formed men. Which uh, might have uh, been our disaster in Kentucky. Yes. Let's continue. They'll probably get some extra men for um, holding this town. Maybe I should actually uh, unite these two units, put them together. Can I do that? Can you do that in this game? Can you do it like that? Yeah, I could. Just to put them together to have one unit that actually will stand against something rather than just being crushed. I think the garrison here needs to have uh, more men to uh, make sure because that was uh, that was too close for such a small attack and continue towards Santa Fe and then we got this place right here we're marching in between the two confederate armies I, I would like some spies or something that we could um, send forth to see what's actually going down around here if they've got more and then we've got uh, Chamberlain moving in with his um, line infantry or are these actually militia units 
There's nothing there though to stop us. Volunteer, line infantry. I guess the line infantry is militia. Not very good, but there's a lot of them and there's nothing really holding uh, Kentucky, so we'll hopefully take that. Uh, we've got some money. Thinking about maybe I should raise another army, but first we'll take a look at what provinces are unhappy and we'll build better government buildings to suppress the um, suppress them and enforce the federal government in these uh, states to make sure that they stay um, okay you know what this is such an easy victory so we're gonna go ahead and out resolve this one he lost a lot of men he almost died in that small battle there was only hardly we outnumbered them five to one still um, we lost a ton of men on the general unit almost to the point where we lost him which definitely don't like the confederates are all over the place military alliance if we give the Mary what's up with Maryland why does everyone want Maryland the thing is they don't have any armies so I don't see the point of it uh, wigwag the army taking flags more men being recruited and now McKellen will attack and I will demand the surrender the surrender is refused the battle is uh, quite even but that's because a lot of it is just state militia we got John S. Mosby and Robert E. Lee held up in there um, they actually got Parrot rifle guns against our Hovitzers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we will win, though. Uh, but I would be, uh, it would be foolish of me to do, try to do two battles in one video. Boom! Kentucky accepts and it falls. We're gonna need some regular troops in there because we can't march around. He can't march around with an army full of militiamen. And so we'll have to. The thing though is, um, it's not. Uh, it could have been a good way of advance, but I guess I should have put more, more troops down that line. Um, so right now that's not going to be the case and then we push this army up and it is Beauregard I demand surrender Re surrender is refused this one uh, I think we'll go ahead and out resolve defeat what I was clearly I clearly had the upper hand damn it uh, I thought that was going to be a pushover victory. Seems that um, Beauregard and his troops were held up a lot better than I thought, and this army is basically destroyed, uh, or it's very badly damaged. And now the Confederate forces, which looked puny before, are actually quite sizable. So we will have to redraw in that area, continue towards Santa Fe, um, and uh, we're going to have to step up the recruitment over here um, by having more, I'm not entirely sure what these are, it seems like some form of, um, some form of engineer unit. Um, maybe they can build stuff better than the others. Their accuracy is not as great as the regulars. But 
we'll have two of them. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to have some new cannons as well. I saw that we lost one cannon. Um, although having two is probably enough. Another one of those Hovitzer units will do fine. And we got Chamberlain down there. We probably need... What we'll do is... We've got a recruitment center over here. So we can bring up more men here. Um, three inch ordnance. Parrot rifle. 12 pound Napoleon. Got a lot of different ones. Uh, Pennsylvania Bucktails. Ooh, they got a uh, accuracy of 55. We're gonna need some of those. How many can I could have three of them? Nice. What do we else have? The Iron Brigade. They also really good. And um, we got Irish, which is good as well. Could only have one Irish though, apparently. Or maybe a. And now I'm out of money. Actually, the Irish, I think I ran out of money. I can have three, yeah, of all the special ones, I can have three. Uh, we'll, we'll start off by having the Pennsylvania Bucktails. And um, maybe some uh, 12... Actually, where do we have... Uh, can I have three of the main? No, I can only have one unit of the main. Hm. And then we'll have some 12 pound Napoleons. And what else? Uh, nothing right. Actually, we need to send something down there. Just some regulars then. Regulars. That we'll be able to send down and hopefully help um, Chamberlain down there. I was surprised here by the defeat, but yeah. Looking at the time though, even though I'm not entirely sure what or how long this episode has been, we're gonna end it here and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!